for today's horror movie review, I thought about going to the theater and watching Ouija, but that movie wasn't released in the 80s and it doesn't star Tawny Katane. David is here, and he's playing for real. It isn't a game anymore. Witchboard. Don't play it alone. If you believe in spirits if you don't believe in God or Satan. Well, there's been evidence of their existence. No, there hasn't. Eyewitness accounts, photographs, recordings, you name it. No, there hasn't. And I've contacted some of them. With what, a Ouija board? Ouija. What? It's pronounced Ouija, not Ouija. It comes from the French and German words for yes, we and ya, Ouija. I hate you. We learn that the guy drinking Jack is Jim, he's dating Tom and Kedain, and the douchey guy with the Ouija board is her ex-boyfriend. He, along with Tony, summon a ten-year-old spirit named David. Jim pisses it off, so it pops the douchey dude's car tire. The next day, Jim goes to work, where his friend is killed in an accident, and Tony Katain uses the Ouija board all by herself and asks the spirit to help her find her missing diamond ring. Douchey guy calls up to ask for the Ouija board back so he can use it at a party, only to learn that Tawny Contain's been using it all by herself. He meets up with Jim and begins asking a bunch of questions because he's very concerned. Uh, nervous tension, insomnia, nausea, any kind of erratic behavior. How did you know? Has she been swearing a lot? I love the pause in there. Is she irritable? Throwing up? Having trouble sleeping? Is she swearing? Well, let's go to the scene before that to figure out. Linda, listen to me. Hello? Hello? Brandon? Hello? Hello. God damn it! How many times have I told you not to sneak up on me? I'm, I'm sorry. Next time I'll wear a bell. Why don't you just grab your time I'd say yes so what's going on douchey Ouija board dude all right when someone uses a Ouija alone like Linda she's very susceptible to the spirits she contacts and the wrong spirit will take advantage of this at first he'll be extremely helpful and friendly so that she's lured into using the board more and more pretty soon all she wants to do is use the board Everything else, like going to classes, becomes unimportant. This is called progressive entrapment. The spirit becomes more and more hostile and eventually knocks her unconscious. So, Jim and Douchey Guy go to Big Bear, the site of where the spirit died, in order to get more information. Don't worry though, they are going to use the Ouija board, but he has no power as long as she is unconscious, because she is a portal, and as long as she's not awake, the spirit can't do anything. <laughs> well, she's awake, so spirit, help me out and kill this guy. you. We figure out that David, who we thought was a spirit, stopped talking to her long ago. He only talked to her at the party. It's been an evil spirit who's the spirit of a mass murderer that chops off people's heads. But luckily, 
he wears a suit. So that means we get to see Tawny Katane look really, really sexy in a suit. You're so smart. You haven't figured it out yet, have you, James? Overall, this is a decent little horror flick. Uh, I'm never gonna truly like a ghost movie just because I'm such a non-believer, as you can probably tell by my intro, but I can see why this movie had an audience. It spawned two sequels. Uh, Todd Allen is the star of this one. He is hilarious in this. The douchey dude is a soap opera actor, so his overacting is just great. I'll show you my favorite clip of his at the end of the review. And Tony Contain is gorgeous in this and actually does a decent job acting. The director is mostly done horror flicks. This was his first, but he also did Night of the Demons. Two other Witchboard movies and Pinocchio's Revenge. Some of them I might get to during this month. So yeah, I had a good time watching this movie. I uh, had some interesting things and yeah, it was a good time. So what'd we learn? It's her. She's a mother. Look, yellow umbrella and everything. It's her. This movie gets six Dora the Explorer branded Candyland games out of ten. Is it decently directed, decently acted, and decently put together movie? There's nothing fantastic. It's not that scary. It's limited to jump scares and just two deaths. Thank you for watching. Leave criticisms or suggestions down in the comment box. And, as always, I shall try to do better next time. As promised, my favorite scene. So, what you're telling me is that I'm living with Linda Blair. Damn it, Jim, I'm serious! <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what makes it so funny.